Hi, DJ here and welcome along. If you love Star Wars like we do, please like and subscribe to get notified when we drop new interviews. Watch out for a brief Imperial cameo coming up during this interview. And our interviewee today, Wedges Gunner, said he was initially supposed to work only a day or two on The Empire Strikes Back, but after landing a speaking role, once someone else dropped out, he eventually worked on the film for over two weeks. Good job, better income. And we're in Orlando with Ian Liston, who was in The Empire Strikes Back. Welcome to our show. Thank you, DJ. Thank you. Good to have you here. Better tell us you played. Well, we'll start. I know you played too, but let's talk about your main character first. Who was that? Wes Jansen, one of the rebel pilots. Yeah, well, the, yeah uh, pretty famous. That's right. Yeah, he's Wedge's gunner, so he's in the back of the, uh, the snow speeder with Wedge. And he gets to take that great shot. Tell us about it. Well, that's where the cable outlet will go, and he wraps the cable around the attack, and the attack goes tumbling over. What was it like shooting that? Did you have any concept at that time of what it would look like? None at all. I, it was it was a just one of those jobs. It, I was you know I've been a jobbing actor all my life, and it was just one of those jobs. You go along, you do it, you do what's called aeroplane acting, and you think no more of it. And then all of a sudden, here we are, 30 years later, so a massive reunion of lots of the guys who are out there. And uh, no, never ever thought for one moment it'd be like that. What is the secret to aeroplane acting or snow speeder acting? <laughs> I think it's belief in what you're doing. I mean, despite the fact that it was such an elementary cockpit. Good shot, Jensen. And the whole thing looks very plain when you see it on screen. But so much was added later on that we had no idea was going to be there until we actually saw the film. Ian Liston wasn't the only one who didn't know what vehicle he was controlling in these scenes as General Veer's actor, Julian Glover, told us here. And when he's driving that extraordinary machine, which incidentally, your viewers might be interested to know, I didn't see the machine until I saw the film. Um, I was up in a gantry with a blue screen behind me, and so I had no idea what it was. When I saw the film, wow, I was driving that giraffe. <laughs> so it's all up here, isn't it? It is. Indeed. Now, we mentioned another character. Tell us about him, too. Well, I also play the Atat driver. So that's rather ironic, isn't it? Well, yeah, it turns out I happen to be one of the few people who actually kills himself in, uh, in The Empire Strikes Back. Radio, how do they explain? Well, because I'm in the snowspeeder wrapping the cable around the walking legs of the Atat. It goes tumbling over, kills everybody inside, and of course I'm the Atat driver as well. So in one scene I've got a helmet on, which is the first scene I filmed, and then because the actor who was going to play Wes Jansen was sick, I was asked if I'd step into the breach at short notice and play his part. So it was great as far as I was concerned because, you know, Wes was a you know, character who was seen. Let her go! Yeah, tough break for that actor who missed out. Oh, it was indeed, yeah. I bet he wishes he, uh, he hadn't gone sick that day. Mad fool, that's all I can say. <laughs> Good to talk to you, yeah. Ian Liston. Thank you so much. Thanks, DJ. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the interview. More great meetups with more Star Wars greats all over the channel, with even more still to be released. So please like and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing here on Star Wars 100 Interviews. Catch you soon.